Today we're going to be learning Key Trees Act 1 variation, which it's one of my favorites. It's very short and sweet, very technically virtuosic, but it definitely gets the crowd going and it's just so athletic and fun. I have to put on my point shoes still. So this particular variation, it comes at the end of Act 1. So you're extremely warm by this point because it's just so athletic. I don't think I'll be able to show much of it full out in my kitchen right now. And I recommend that you guys wait until you're really warm to try any of it. Um, and also have a good floor because it is so technically challenging and you can easily injure yourself on those um, big key tree jumps if you're not totally warm. At this point in the ballet, the cilia is kind of pissing you off. And so you're showing off, you're kind of showing off all your skills and abilities and just flaunting your like strength and independence as a woman. So I think it's very empowering, this particular solo and everyone on stage is around you and they're like snapping and clapping and everyone's super into it. So I've done two different versions of this variation. I've done the um, ABT version. <laughs> version with the Paris Opera. And they're a little bit different, but overall pretty similar. I'm just going to teach you the ABT version just because that's the one I'm most experienced with and I think it's super fun. You come out of downstage right, you're in the wing, and you come on and there's like a rattling in the orchestra. I think it's either like, a, it's a snare drum maybe, or a tambourine. So you run out, you run in a big circle, and you're doing this motion with your arms. So you're doing little circles with your arms, and you're snapping. You come out and you're doing like snap, 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 and you're like, making eye contact with everyone around you, engaging with the audience and the people around you. Run, 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 run. And then you get to a little bit before center stage and you take a susu and make sure you do shin down and up. And you can do like a little extra emphasis with your fingers at the top. So you go and boom and down into fourth position. So this position with the arms, it's like a specific Don Q thing. Um, it's basically an inverted first position. So you take it behind you. I think it's inspired by like flamenco and bullfighting. I'm not sure how uh, accurate of a representation it is, but basically it's this position. Shoulders are very like down and back and your chest is very up. You're very proud. Kitri is a very proud character. So you want to show that by the way you carry your back and your chest. So it goes bum ba -da -dum, bum bum ba -da -dum, bum And the first step is a pas de shah. So you do pas de shah and développé. You're on écarté front. Développé écarté front. So you do pas de shah Double pay, and then you do step, double step over turn, and it's like, it's a small jump down, but I really think it looks beautiful if you really like roll through the foot and soften into your plie, and the arms go like that. So arms are susu with the head that way, chin down and up, and Pas de chat développé. Prepare, step over turn, and so from there you do a little développé and you hop, 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 hop on point. Not too bent with the knees, it's just kind of like, like you're just stamping the floor. And while you're doing those little stamps, you raise your arms, keeping the wrists or the fingers sort of dropped. You can just make that part your own. It's not really a classical ballet position at all. I just think like, look how hot I am. 
and, and then you go back to the fourth position and you repeat it again. Pas de chat, développe, and double pirouette, little jeté, and hop, 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 and back to fourth. So that's the first section. You just repeat that twice. Think of it like a tap dance, like get the rhythm in your feet because what's gonna enable you to move at that speed is if you really think like feet, 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 and also like crossing everything, using your adductors to really like cross so you're ready. Ready guys, we're gonna mark it with the music that much. And. You don't get talk to them, talk, 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 talk. First section. Next section is Assemble. It's like a huge sea zone. It's a key tree jump. It's that like iconic position. So what you're gonna do is jump, jump up, do a sea zone, and try to like split your legs as much as you can. And the arms go up into fifth position and you just look straight up. For this one, it's really important to stretch first. Before this variation, I'm off stage in the wings and I'm literally back there just like stretching my groin and my psoas just to like loosen it up. I also think that it helps like to do it more safely if you almost think of turning in a little bit rather than turning out with the back leg on that jump. Um, if you really turn it out, you can like injure your hip. <laughs> Not sure that's correct, but works for me. So we're gonna go from here, awesome play, and big jump all the way up, step, step, attitude. You can either like use your skirt on this part or you can do like snap, snap, then from there roll down an awesome play, one more big C zone, and then step through and take your skirt and you do double rond de jambe and tendu back. And at that point, Basilio, like he might try to like snatch your foot or something, you're playing with him. So you go double rond and fourth with a pointed back toe. And then third time you do huge C zone, step, step, plie releve in attitude, and you're looking back over your shoulder. Arms are in, uh, Fourth arabesque, run up to the corner, and then you can either, you have a few options of how to start this diagonal. You can either start it with a double step over turn, or you can just run up to the corner and pose with a snap with a sort of one foot on point in the front. So that's a little bit easier. You can either do that, or you can run to the corner turn around yourself and do double step over. It's a little bit harder to catch the music. So that's the whole second section. So let me play the music and just show you guys. run up to the corner, take your position, and then it's literally just a diagonal of pirouettes from fifth, that's all it is. You wanna do the cleanest fifth possible, which is really hard because you're traveling on the whole diagonal of the Met stage or whatever stage, and it's huge. Um, so basically all you're doing, and you wanna be very economical with your arms as well. So five, six, seven, eight, and pirouette pirouette, just single pirouettes, that's all it is. Um, and with the arms, keep them not too high, not above the shoulders. Just go fourth in, fourth in, fourth in, fourth in, fourth in, and just keep thinking right shoulder back, right shoulder back, right shoulder back for each turn. 
So you just do the whole diagonal, and then you finish with a double pirouette, hopefully. <laughs> finish double pirouette and plie, attitude, finish attitude releve with a snap. So you do two full sets of eight. So it's either on the 18th or the 19th pirouette, but you do it. You just have to listen to the music and get used to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna play uh, again. Third time, run up to the corner. very short. Um, it's over in 50 seconds, but you get a lot of bang for your buck with that one. Another thing for those pirouettes, just make sure that you get it to the same exact place. Your passe is consistent every time. Don't let it start to droop. Honestly, when you get to that part, you can just go into full machine mode. I feel like the artistry of that step and certain steps, honestly, the artistry is just in the like clean rhythmic execution of it. So you don't have to do anything extra. You're like, okay, I'm a machine now. I'm just gonna do these every time, ex every pirouette exactly the same. All right, we're gonna do it from the top, everyone. Get ready and just be careful right now. You don't get talk to them, talk, 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 talk. Fun. It's over before you know it. It is really just like a little Olympic sprint and then you're done. But it's fun because it's one of those things that the audience goes really crazy for. Um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. All the, all the videos are on there. Okay, bye you guys. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any feedback, I would love to hear it. Thank you.